Do you have a Bamboo Lab AMS or AMS Lite? Then keep watching, because I've got a tip that can help you avoid a potential problem that, while not critical, can be supremely annoying. I am Brian, and you are watching BV3D. Hello, 3D printing friends, and welcome back. There is a little problem you could run into with a Bamboo Lab AMS or AMS Lite, and I haven't seen anybody talking about it. Now, this problem won't affect everybody, but it's more likely to affect the AMS Lite than the AMS because the Lite doesn't have the benefit of also being a filament dry box, and the likelihood of this problem occurring increases the longer the unit sits idle. The problem is filament snapping or breaking inside the Teflon tubes that feed filament from the AMS to the printer's tool head. When changing or unloading filaments, both the AMS and AMS Lite depend on being able to pull filament back from the tool head. That gets it out of the way so the next filament can be loaded. In the case of the AMS Lite, filament gets pulled back just enough to clear the 4-in-1 feeder on the top of the tool head. In the case of the larger enclosed AMS, the filament gets pulled all the way back to the unit itself because the 4-in-1 junction is inside the AMS. So if the filament snaps or breaks, there's no way to pull it back from the tool head and the printer throws an error and stops printing. This can be especially irritating in the middle of a print. For the record, this kind of filament break can happen to any FDM 3D printer that's been sitting idle for a while. Some filament just gets brittle and snaps. On a single spool of printer, this usually isn't a problem. You can just reload the filament and you're good. But on my A1 Mini, I've actually had to cancel a print because the only way to recover from the error was to turn the printer off and disconnect the tube that had the snapped filament in it. And by the way, it's super easy to disconnect the tubes from the AMS light side of the equation, but it's a bit of a pain to disconnect the tubes from the 4-in-1 on the A1 and A1 Mini tool head. Those connectors do not want to let go of the tubes. Oh, and I've had to do this on an X1 Carbon, too. And while the full-size AMS is arguably a lot easier to work on, it does still require disconnecting it from the printer, and that means canceling the print and turning it off. So how do you prevent this from happening? Well, it's actually quite simple. In the extremely unlikely event that you're not going to be using your printer for a few days, unload the filament. On the AMS, open the lid, press the filament release, pull the filament out of the feeder, and secure it to the spool. Same thing with the AMS Lite. Press the filament release, remove the filament, and then secure the end of the filament to the spool. When you're ready to print, bend the filament ends to see if they're going to snap. If they do, move further along the filament until it doesn't do that anymore. Then load the filament again. And that's it. That's the tip. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. The time and inconvenience of reloading filament on an AMS or AMS Lite is minimal compared to the time and inconvenience of trying to clear snapped filament from a feed tube. Now, like I said, this problem may not affect everybody. Some people, the lucky ones, don't have humidity problems that affect filament. And this may not have happened to you yet. But if it does, and after you get the snapped filament out of the tube, following this tip may help to make life better for future you. So, thanks for watching, and big thanks to everyone who supports the channel. If you liked this episode, give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe so you don't miss new ones. Well, 3D printing friends, that's about all the time we have for this one. And now that we're at the end, let's go print something cool.